Amazing being with you today. Let's talk about something so important that it changed my life completely. I want to discuss the three shifts you must make in your life. Three shifts you must make in your life. A lot of people want to shift in their finances, but they don't understand where they should shift first for the finance to improve. Let me tell you, whatever and most things you are passing through on earth, a lot of them are functions of causes and effect. Okay, so what you're passing through is effects. The other one is the cause, what caused it. Okay, now the point is a lot of the causes are at the macro level. In other words, there is nothing you can do when you have bad road in the front of your house and even when you want to repay it government says you cannot because they say it's their job and they refuse i can remember many years ago as a university lecturer i went to the vice chancellor of that university and said please can you allow me to build a small hall just something that will contain about 200 people just block you know and then maybe one of is there and um so that i don't need to climb two three stories that doesn't have a lift I don't need to, you know, jump gutters or drag classes with other lecturers because there were not enough classes in the university. And the man said, um, oh, Kali, you can't do that. You know, just wait. Um, ETF will soon build another faculty for, for your faculty. So just, have, you know, until I left lecturing, that wasn't built. Okay. So the point is, that is a macro thing. There's nothing I could have done to change it. What I did was when it got so bad that I wasn't interested in what is happening there. It was stressing me out. It was not making me happy again. I left. Yeah. Because though the problem is macro, it, my choice, my micro choice can decide. Okay. So today I teach vice chancellors, rectors, provosts. I teach permanent secretaries, ministers, senators, house of members, sitting in my own office, sitting in my own organization, Sean Cousins Business School, because I feel I wasn't happy with what is happening there. Though it is macro, I can't change it. I decided to change what I can. And that is what? My own consent. I decided to withdraw my consent from that university, withdraw my services, and then, you know, went on my own. The point I wanted to make with that is that everything is cause and effect. But you see, some of the causes are not you. You didn't cause them. But you see, you can still do something about them. There's removal of subsidy. There's removal of um, ta uh, subsidy from um, electricity tariff. You know, the economy is very bad. The dollar is up. All kinds of things. You didn't cause it. But will you die waiting for the people who cause it to amend it? No, there's something you can do. And that is what I want to tell you today. Three shifts you must do. Number one is think shifts. If you, it's very important you know that thinking is like a location. As far as you are in one location, you cannot be in another location. So the point is the locational point of your thinking will have its corresponding existence on the earthly plane. In other words, if locationally, in your mind, you are a poor person, no matter how you claim or fake riches, you will never be rich because in the, in the mentis, you are poor. I used to be like that, and I've told this story severally. I used to be afraid of success. In other words, immediately something started getting bigger and all those, you know, in my 20s, in my early 30s, I would run away because for me, it seems I couldn't handle it. And I have perfectionistic spirit. I don't want to enter into any problem. I don't want any crime. I don't want to, uh, you know, my name to, you know, I was so, so careful with my name, with my, you know. And that is why today I will tell you I'm on blackmailable. And because when I remember how careful I was before now in my 20s and early 30s, I get so angry with myself. I said, you know, what was I even thinking, you know? How could you answer a good man? How do you want a, a clean record all the way that nobody has anything about you and against you and all those? And, you know, I, I get so angry because, you know, what for? 
I want to do big thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I don't want it to fail. What if I borrow money? And if, what if I do this? And what if I take this job and I didn't do it well? What if I, you know, I was, I was so careful, perfectionistically careful, and it takes you nowhere. Perfectionism has its own good part. For instance, I've been a best student. You know, I've done quite some things that, you know, because of the public, if, if I read one book, if you are giving me an exam now, I'll, I'm going, even if the exam is on Monday, on Tuesday, next week, I'm going to read about 20 books for that single exam. And I'm going to finish all the books. So that is maybe the good part of it. But I don't even see that good again in it. Why? Because most times you want it to be perfect holds you back. Now, that's on the positive side, you know, negative, positive side. But you see, there's all this negative part where you are just, um, you have the wrong relationship with money, you have the wrong relationship with people, you have the wrong relationship with your mentors, you have the wrong relationship, your thinking is not right. You, that's what we call bad faith in existentialism. You are thinking that somehow things will just be okay. This is June of 2024, and then you've not done anything anything since January, and then you want December to be nice just because it's Christmas. It's not done. It is what you planted from January to December or to uh, um, June, July, August, September that you're going to reap in December. So to shift in your thinking and get the right mentality. And what's the right mentality? One of the best things that God can teach you is that the God who made you may seldom save you without you. In other words, you may not never become your dream if you don't put the right effort. Now, emphasis on rights. You can put effort and it is not the right effort. And I'll give an example. If I'm in Abuja now, so I'm Gwagulada or Lube and... Um, and um, Nasara, what, what do you call them, Mararaba, is they are on the opposite direction. So if you want to go to Mararaba or you want to go to Nas, um, uh, Gogolada, and then you, you want to go to University of Abuja, you start going to Mararaba. No matter how fast you run, no matter whatever you do, every single step you take is taking you away from your destination. So you may take better steps, better whatever, than the person who is facing University of Abuja towards Gogolada. You may run faster than him, you may, but you are running in the right di wrong direction. Because of that, you will not achieve your dream. And you look at this other person, I say, this guy is uh, not um, as intelligent as myself. This guy is not as uh, reasonable as myself. This guy is not as industrious as myself. This guy is not as, you know, he doesn't put the effort I put in. He doesn't even, he doesn't have a degree and all this, but everything is going for him. It can only be luck is not true the truth is you are facing the wrong direction and because of that all you're running is running in the wrong direction and um, and you are not getting it so that is why you may need to pause and do what and find out what is the right direction that you should go that is some of the thing shifts you will do so understanding that god has given you what i call favoredness favoredness simply means that God wants you to prosper in everything you do. Prosperity is your default. Okay? There could be macro things that are inhibiting what you are doing. There could be macro things like government decisions, infrastructure, and all those. But you still, even in all those, you still have something you can do around it and about it. Yeah? Okay. But you can also decide to complain or give excuses. And, and it's nice to give excuses. But you see, as you have heard, you can make excuses and make results at the same time. Either you make excuses or you make results. They are mutually exclusive. It is an either or situation, not a both and. Yes, it is either or. Either or. The point is change your thinking and you change a lot of things in your life. Are you depressed now? Are you unhappy? Are you not making ends meet? Are you sick in your body? Whatever it is, that thing, how you react to them is the more important than the thing itself. I am disabled on my lower limbs. I walk with crutches and calipers. I am what you could call 
a disabled person or physically challenged, however you want to romanticize it. But the point is, I see it as an advantage. I don't see it as a negative. Why? Because if I cannot change it, I should do something around it that gives me the happiness I need. If you don't want to jackpot, you don't want to leave the country and you are here, very important that you become happy with the country and then sort it out. How do you sort it out? Change your thinking. Now, if you understand reticular activating system where every single thing you think over consistently, you are going to start encountering it. If you think about red car consistently over a time, everything you will start seeing will be red car on the road. If you think about Lexus Jeep, if you think whatever you think, if you think about wedding too much, you see wedding things, the halls and 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 best man and, and all those kinds of things. Okay. Now, the point is change in your mind. Think about those things that you are not doing right. Change your mental. Stop thinking that you are lower. Stop thinking that somebody is coming to save you. Stop thinking that you will not increase knowledge in your knowledge, attitude, and skills. And then you are you make it. Stop thinking that you are going to win lottery one day and you make it. Stop thinking that a rescuer is coming. Knowing that what you don't do doesn't get done. And that is why you have to change your thinking. And then knowing that you know your father waited for government. And probably your father is dead or grandfather is dead, and they never, you know, enjoyed the dividend, the so-called dividend of, of democracy. So why should you come and wait forever for for the same thing your parents waited for, and they died without achieving? So it's very important that you change your mind around this and know that opportunities are everywhere. You can do something about it. You can also say opportunity is nowhere, and nobody will quarrel with you about that. Okay, so. That's number one thing you're going to do regarding your um, the three things you need to shift on. You shift on your thought, which we call think shift. Think shift. Now, the next thing you should shift on is say shift. S A Y, say shift. When you change your thinking and then you are still saying the something, there's a problem. You cannot prosper. When you change your thought, you change what you say. Always say to yourself, I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am intelligent. I'm God's greatest creature. I am favored. Everything I touch, it prospers. You know, I prosper in everything, every day. Everything, every day is getting better for my sake. And everything I touch prospers. And then you go on, go on, and you go on to work, keep working on it so that it keeps prospering. Change what you say by mistake or by, you know, a joke. Don't say wrong things about yourself. Don't say wrong things about all of us for victim to that we just say wrong things about ourselves it could be a joke then some people mean it also yeah don't say wrong things about yourself be serious with what you say especially in your mind your self-talk yeah don't be afraid of something that every other person had achieved don't be afraid don't think oh my own is always different whenever i go anywhere the whole door will close the people are going in mining now they're making a lot of money immediately i go to mining mining will become something problematic you know anytime the foul sees me it will it will have teeth it will grow teeth you know and you know a lot of people just give themselves so much negativity and remember the human person is a living magnet what you say you attract what you think you attract you may not have said it but you are thinking it if you remember the book of job 325 i think job said what i've been afraid of has come upon me that's why in my programs i tell my friends Every time you doubt, every time you are faithless, every time you fear, you are praying. Only you are praying in the negative. So if you want a car and you are afraid whether you will get the car or you are just wondering and doubting whether you get, you are praying for the negative, for you not to get the car. If you are, if you want to get, um, you want to get um, a job and then you always say, there's no job in this country. There's no, you are praying, you are Calling the one that you don't want. So worry is prayer in the negative. 
and fear is prayer in the negative and wrong negative talk is prayer in the negative and you know negative joke is prayer in the negative you have to be intentional about what you say so we've talked about thing shift we've talked about say shift how do you make sure that you say the wrong the right thing always always catch yourself every second every minute catch yourself every five minutes catch yourself catch yourself by saying what am i thinking what am i saying always catch yourself if it is going wrong bring it to the right track the human mind is like a moving car no matter how aligned the wheels are and how balanced the the wheels are and how aligned the tires are uh, if you leave the steering not, not controlling it is a matter of time it start veering off the road that's how the human mind is always catch it always catch it always find out what you are saying per time so that you are not saying the wrong thing to yourself that is the um say shifts okay now the next one is uh do shifts so you've thought about the right things you've said the right thing now there's no amount of reading no amount of saying no amount of thinking about a car that you do that you don't go to learn driving that you would drive it will be very very difficult yeah while if you think right and say right the person who is not thinking right and saying right if he goes to learn a car or learn about a car or driving a car if he would drive in one week you could drive in one hour because you have prepared your mind your mind is like a fertile ground so immediately you go there you do but you see it, you must put in some effort so a lot of people are so they talk they think they want to manifest something and other but they are not putting the effort yes effort is not only physical when we say effort effort is not only physical effort is even more psychological because 80 percent of your success is psychological 80 percent of your sources is psychological so always remember that you need to put in the work so when you think shifts when your thought shifts and you're saying shifts remember to shift your doing stop waiting stop being afraid stop you know you have to do something have you written that proposal have you gone to that marketing have you talked to somebody have you offered you know a, a product a service or a platform have you gone out there to do it have you gone online to say this is what you are selling and nobody supported you you need to understand all this and do only do us go to the bank only do us go don't just think us and say us do us go to the bank so why you shifting your thinking you shift in your you, you shift in your um saying also shifts in your doing a lot of us are lazy a lot of us are lazy you watch television from you know the time you came back to the time you sleep the next one you start watching before you go to work or and in office you have you know you know so you don't even have time to concentrate you don't have time to do any you don't have time to read to pray so nothing every time a lot of us are so gregarious every time you want to go to where people are talk joke drink and all that you don't have time for your own self to understand yourself understand your god understand your craft understand your skill understand your knowledge understand your stability understand you you don't have that time ladies and gentlemen it will be good that you start thinking about shifting in your thoughts shifting in your saying and shifting in your doing this is the trinity of success think shifts say shifts do shifts now what are you waiting for like subscribe share you know follow wherever you see this do that immediately and make sure that your friends gain from this put on the notification button so that whenever you know beautiful stuff are sent here you are able to get notified looking forward to seeing you soon remember only doers go to the bank my name is dr kali cousins